Hi there guys, welcome to the video and in this video I'm going to review this KEPRC Mark V, KEPRC's latest and greatest freestyle 5 inch quadcopter. Having said that, I've already reviewed the frame of this quadcopter and basically this review will be mostly about these motors. When I first saw these motors come up online I thought 2107 and a half, isn't that a little small maybe? So this is these motors, in my mind the determining factor whether this quadcopter will perform or not, right? So again, in this video we're gonna mostly review these motors from Cap RC the Speedex 2107 and a half motors. Here we go! Alrighty guys, so I'm actually gonna start by showing you one of the flights. This is one of my first flights with the quadcopter, the fifth I think. This is one of my tuning flights as I built the quadcopter myself, right? So I am happy to show you that the quadcopter actually flies. And it flies well, even though it did take a little bit of tuning, but it flies Somehow it was a lot of fun to fly, even though the weather wasn't great as you can see and the quad wasn't tuned correctly up until this flight. In this flight it's pretty good actually, not perfect but pretty good. But somehow even when the quad coupler wasn't tuned well it was a lot of fun to fly. So why? Well turns out it's quite fast somehow. It's a fast quadcopter and I checked it's not like the camera angle is particularly wide making it feel or look fast. I know these fields right, I know these fields very well. This quadcopter is somehow pretty fast and I'm flying propellers that I know as well. These are the Dalprop Nepal N2s. And so the KV of these motors is pretty high, 1960 KV, but I've got other motors that are, in fact most of my freestyle quadcopters have high KV motors. So these motors spin up very fast, faster than any other motor I've tried. You know that when you're trying for instance the rotation direction of your uh, motors, you have to tap the cursor a couple of times in be the fly to make your motor spin up. These kinda almost spin up at the first touch of your cursor. Also on this quadcopter I actually had to lower the min throttle. On most quadcopters I raised the min throttle from say 5.5 to 7 maybe. On this one I lowered it somehow. Again these motors spin up pretty fast or faster than most other motors. So that of course doesn't mean that these motors are magical. They're motors, <laughs> nothing less and nothing more. So you might have wondered about this quadcopter, the Mark V. Are these motors too small? Maybe 2107 and a half, while a lot of other freestyle quadcopters come with like 2207 or maybe even 2207 and a half motors or 2306 and a half. Are these motors very much smaller. Well, the determining factor in that is the stator size, which 2107 is the stator size, right? But uh, it's the stator volume, so basically 21 times 7.5 uh, divided by 2. Is that size, that volume, much smaller than, say, on the 2207 motor, which is a typical size, right? Well, turns out that if you, again, do 21 times 7.5, that's more than a 2207 motor. So it's more than 22 times 7. It feels a little bit counterintuitive. If you don't do the math, you might say, oh, this is a smaller motor, it will be a puny quadcopter. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. But again, if you do the math, turns out that this motor or the stator size of this motor is actually bigger, a little bit bigger, that is. Yeah, so obviously compared to a 2207.5 motor, this one is a little bit smaller. So yeah, also however, however, 
the bell size of this motor will be a little bit smaller and lighter. So maybe that's why these motors spin up fast. I actually think that the magnets in this motor are stronger or something. I, I must say I do not know why these motors spin up so fast. They do. And it, well, it results in a fast quad coupler. All right, so if you were to order these Gepa C Spidex 2207, uh, 21, sorry, 2107 and a half motors separately, you would uh, get them in a cardboard box like this, nothing special there. You get a couple of decals with these motors, which is always nice. And you get um, two sets of screws. Screws for like uh, four millimeter arms and screws for five millimeter arms. Actually, the Gepa C frame, this Mark V frame, also came with motor screws because they uh, they have uh, landing feet, right? So you need longer screws uh, if you want to use those. And you get a prop nut, and that's it. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. And the motors themselves look like this. You can get them in blue. Well grey with blue, grey with green and grey with grey. <laughs> grey with uh, slightly darker grey, gunmetal grey, yeah. Okay, so if you want to have a neutral looking motor, grey with grey. Yeah, so what do these motors actually weigh? So I'm actually going to compare these motors, the weight that is, with these RC InPower Smooks motors. And these are 2306 and a half, which is actually, the status size is uh, comparable to a 2207 and a half. Right? Almost the same. And you can probably actually see the difference in bell housing size. These look uh, puny. The shape is a little bit different, but again, this is a 21 motor width, right? The stator width, 23, 21, 23. Quite a visually quite a big difference. Okay, so the weight difference then. This one comes down to 35 grams with the wire. 30, 35 and a half, let's say. 35 and a half grams. The Kepa C motor weighs in at 33. Actually not that much of a difference. Less than I thought it would uh, be. So I'd say that the, the weight difference in the, in the bell isn't why these motors are fast. Maybe the extra weight of stronger magnets evens things out. That could be. Anyway, so again, it's definitely not a super duper light motor at all. So guys, the Gap RC Mark V with its 2107 and a half motors, who knew? <laughs> yeah, maybe there is some magic <laughs> with this quadcopter. Let's not kill each other, however, Gapper C has a great reputation, right, in 5-inch freestyle land. They've had uh, very nice freestyle quadcopters for years. So my take on this quadcopter and its motors is if you were considering them and if you maybe thought, well, these motors are just too small, it can't be a nice quadcopter, it is a nice quadcopter. So yeah, if you were considering this quadcopter, I'm pretty sure you'd be happy with it. So are there downsides to this quadcopter? Yeah, if you were to use this frame, if you, uh, like me you were to order this frame, it doesn't take a mini stick, so a 20 by 20 stick in the center. That's definitely a bit weird and a downside of the frame. If that doesn't bother you, then I'd say a very nice frame. And if you buy the ready to fly quadcopter, you won't have that problem at all, obviously. I'd say it's definitely a very nice flying quadcopter. And that's it. If you are left with questions, hit me up a comment down below. I hope this was informative. And uh, also, if you don't agree or, or something else, don't hesitate to uh, comment down below. Thank you very much for watching. Catch you on the next video. Bye-bye.